Our mission is very simple. We are here to cure cancer. And what's interesting to me is there are a lot of people who won't say that word, cure cancer, because sometimes we think it's too hard, too difficult, we're not going to do it. Um, I think it is very difficult, but I think we're also going to do it. We are involved with the Stanley Center and the Broad Institute through what we call the NeuroGAP project, that is neuropsychiatric genetics of African populations. I think NeuroGAP should be uh, that beacon that reminds the global scientific community that uh, equity is also a consideration in research. When I think back at the early days of the pandemic, uh, I think about how that partnership was critical in saving countless lives at our nursing facilities. And then later on across Cambridge, as we scaled up testing through the road across the city. And that really set the stage to be a model for the state and I think for the country. One of the fundamental reasons why I became interested in rare diseases is because they're actually not so rare. Uh, one in 10 Americans uh, has a rare disease, so when taken together, uh, rare diseases actually affect millions of Americans and millions of people all around the globe. So our genes play a major role in determining how we look and how our bodies function and whether we're likely to develop disease. But there's also many other factors that control that, and that includes the environment, um, the location that we live, are we exposed to sun, do we smoke, do we exercise regularly, what food do we eat? <laughs> 